and welcome back. This is tutorial number 14 and uh, we'll be continuing this little segue I've been on. Uh, my name is Eamon Killian. I've been doing a series of short videos on how to get started using IBM software but we've slightly gone off what might appear on a tangent to uh, those unfamiliar with software around uh, Viata and virtual routing. So tutorial 13 we uh, set up a Viata for the first time on my uh, Mac here in order to start to learn you know how to configure a Viata, how to do things on it. So I'm going to continue this because you know it's critical to understand uh, Viata. So what I thought I'd cover first is why indeed you know I'm doing this you know um, so I tried to capture really um, for anyone unfamiliar with software and how to construct your own infrastructure within a software environment how critical it is to understand uh, and revisit and reacquaint yourself with all of that old networking stuff that uh, you mightn't have used for a while in an enterprise environment there's usually a server team, a database team, a, a storage team, and often a network team. And the network team will be fully familiar and fully acquainted with all of the networking concepts. But uh, for those who work on servers, quite often, other than creating a few, uh, a few virtual uh, IP addresses or virtual Ethernet addresses, yeah, you don't really get that involved in so much the deep site-to-site -site VPNing and stuff like this that you know the network team usually do whereas within software once you start using software and you want to really construct your own designs and capabilities and your own systems within software it's absolutely critical to revisit and reacquaint yourself with uh, networking so maybe dust off those old CCNA books uh, or CCNP books and get yourself right back into it again um, it really is, the second bullet here, critical to your software success to know Viata. Um, Viata as a virtual router is a fantastic uh, piece of equipment and software that will allow you to construct things within software that you would not normally be able to do within another cloud provider. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, the third bullet point really opens this out. So. Understanding how to VLAN and how you can segregate your traffic and VLAN yourself within your cloud. How you could set up your own routing, uh, whether that's static or dynamic. Dynamic usually using OSPF. Um, your own natting rules, your own firewall rules, your own tunneling. Um, setting up site-to-site -site VPNs, that will be a common practice to uh, allow secure access uh, into software. And we'll be covering that in one of the videos as well. And finally, really, it's critical, you know, to any uh, tradesperson, um, whether that's a, a, a carpenter or a joiner or a plumber, etc., you know, mechanic. But for us as systems engineers, it's it's critical to be able to practice these things, to be able to practice creating stuff. And there's some great tools on the web. And what I'm trying to do is introduce a couple of these tools and show you how to use them so that you can get familiar with them too. Um, the two in particular that I use are uh, VirtualBox and GNS3 um, to really start building out network designs in GNS3 and to really start playing around with actual operating systems and things like Docker and CoreOS, etc on the virtual box environment. So that's why I'm doing it because it's practice, it's fun, it's, um, it gives you the knowledge, it builds your knowledge and hopefully uh, you'll find this series, this segue useful as part of getting used to using um, Viata and VYOS before launching into software and starting to configure things up. Today's plan of attack, well, we're gonna get GNS3 um, from the old uh, internet. Then we're going to install, if you've not already got it, uh, VBox. We're going to build yet another um, VYOS uh, machine in VirtualBox. Then we're going to configure um, that VirtualBox with one private host adapted network on a Class A 10 network, but with a 30 mask. 
Um, you'll see just on the next slide why I'm doing that, because there'll only be two addresses available, which is perfect perfect for what we want to do here. Um, we're going to create a um, you know that new VYOS image. Well, if you want to add the user, you know, change the root user, add a host name and domain name. See tutorial 13; it covers all of those aspects. Uh, we're going to be diving straight in here. So we're going to start up GNS. We're going to add a Cisco router because quite often you'll be integrating with a Cisco router on the outside of the network, and then maybe a Viata within software. So. What I'm going to do here is show a Cisco and a Viata configuration. Um, add two switches and four virtual PCs. Then we're going to set up all the interfaces. We're going to set up some VLANs. And we're going to configure the Cisco and VYOS to be DHCP servers for those PCs. And then we're going to get OSPF configured on Cisco and on VYOS. And then we're going to ping test absolutely everything. I'll probably, as part of number 11 there as well, uh, set up static routes first uh, to show you how you can do this statically too. So what does that all look like? So I think on tutorial 13, I forgot to show this early on, so I'm going to show it to you now. This is what we are going to configure. We're going to have a Cisco. We're going to have a Viata. We're going to have a couple of switches. And we're going to have some virtual PCs from within GNS3. And this is how the environment's going to look. And what we're going to be ping testing is basically, if I can grab one of these, we're going to be ping testing from here over to here. So we're going to go from here to here, and we're going to ping test, obviously, in the reverse. So we're going to come back from these machines. So that's what we expect to get delivered as part of tutorial 14. I hope you enjoy this. Um, let's dive into step one and, and grab uh, VBox and uh, GNS3.